guidelines describe some number sequences. So you can see that I've got one over here. You can see that the sequence is 3, 5, 7, 9, and it goes on and on. What is the pattern, guys? What are we doing to get each consecutive number? Well, you can see that the first term is 3, the second term is 5, the third term is 7, and you know that the sequence starts with 3, starts with 3, and each term is 2 more than each previous one. So you can see what I'm basically doing to get each consecutive one, we're simply adding two. So in this section, guys, it's very, very simple. All you have to remember is what it starts with. Try to remember what the first term is, what it starts with, and see what the pattern is. What are we doing to get every consecutive number? So in this case, it was adding two, isn't it? So those two key things I want you to remember and write it down for me. So when I get to the question, question one, it's another sequence. It's got 8, 11, 14, 17, it goes on and on. And the first question asks us to write a description. Now, to write a description, guys, you have to remember just two things. One, where it just, what it starts with. And second, what we're doing to get each consecutive number. Or what we are doing from the previous number to get the next number. So, I can see clearly that the first number is 8. And then what are we doing to get every next number? I can see that 8 plus 3 is 11, 8, 11 plus 3 is 14, 14 plus 3 is 17, so it kind of continues, doesn't it? So we can just say simply, starts with 8 and add 3 each time. That's all you have to say. Okay, just write it nice and simple and straightforward. So in part B, they ask you to find the next two terms. Guys, just simple, uh, simply do adding 3 each time. So the last number that I have is 17. Adding two, uh, sorry, adding three gives us 20. Adding three again gives us 23. And those are the next two terms, as simple as that. So question two, again, we've got another sequence here. We've got 12, 10, eight, six, it's going down this time. It's getting smaller, isn't it? So when it says write a description for these, we know that the first term is 12. And as I said, because we're getting smaller, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be subtracting. You can see the difference is all two, which means we're subtracting two each time. Okay, so it starts with 2, uh, sorry, it starts with 12 and subtract 2 each time. That's the pattern. So when it says find the next two terms, we're going to subtract 2. So 6 minus 2 is 4, 4 minus 2 is 2. That will be the next two terms. Question 3. Again, we've got another sequence. 1, 2, 4, 8. So again, let's write a description for the sequence. The first term is clearly 1. Um, the difference between 2 and 1 is 1, but the difference between 4 and 2 is 2. And the difference between A and 4 is 4, so, does, so definitely we know that we're not going to be adding. This time try multiplying. When the difference is not the same, try multiplying. I know that 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, so it must be multiplying by 2. So this one is starts with 1 and multiplies by 2 each time. So when I ask you to find the next two terms, let's do the procedure. What's 8 um, multiplied by 2? It's 16. 16 multiplied by 2? That's 32, and that is the next two terms. Very, very simple. Question four. Okay, this time it's 243, 81, 27, 9. It's going down quite rapidly, isn't it? So when I ask you to write a description for the sequence, first of all, I know that the first term is 243, and because we're going down rapidly, I'm thinking we're going to be dividing. I know that 243 divided by uh, 3 is 81, 81 divided by 3 is 27, 27 divided by 3 is 9. You can see the pattern, right? It's dividing. So it starts with 243 and it divides 3 each time. So when I want to find the next two terms, what's 9 divided by 3? It's 3. 3 divided by 3? It's 1. So therefore, 3 and 1 are the next two terms, as simple as that. So I guess the key thing is to try to find the right pattern and continue it on to find any next numbers.